like extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can use patterns in the video timeline. Yeah, it's just down here, video timeline. If you can't see that, timeline. Okay, the pattern is Chevron design here. That's part of uh, graphic extras um, Chevron patterns designs. Of course, you could use any pattern you want. Now, just go back to the other document. And the layer I'm actually going to create, so I'm actually just going to duplicate the, the background layer. So click OK. And I'm going to add a layer style to that. I'm just going to go down pattern overlay. That's the key thing. And there's the old one I've created. So I just want to select that one. And that's the Chevron design I've just added. So I'm just going to reduce it down at first so I can actually see the design on the screen. Now, once I've done that, what I want to do is actually duplicate that design. I want to actually, but before that, I'm just going to go down there, create the video timeline. So you've actually got the background copy on there now. Now, when you actually expand that out or twirl that out, you can actually see opacity, position, and style. Now, the key one I want to do is style. So I'm just going to select that on, put that on, so I can actually add keyframes. Okay. Now I'm just going to go over here and the key thing here is actually there's a blending mode here of all the various blending modes. What I want is actually to be using different. So I'm just going to go normal for now, but next time I'm actually going to duplicate the layer. So I'm just going to duplicate that layer. But I want to see this design underneath, but I want to actually also use it with difference. And the key thing is just set it there. So app now it's got difference set. And that is for the whole entire timeline. Because the one thing is, the blending mode is actually part of the style. So if you change the style halfway through, say you want, you suddenly got, you started out with normal all the way through, and then you think, ah, oh, I want to put it different. You've created the keyframe. It actually creates a keyframe with obviously change the blending mode there to difference, and it will create the actual keyframe with that difference there or wherever you've actually created it which may be or maybe not what you want. Right, but I've actually wanted right at the start, I want the whole thing to be different, so I've just created it at the start. Okay, now, just gonna go, just gonna drag that out a bit. And gonna go to background copy first, and I'm gonna actually change, just gonna go there, I'm gonna change the size. I've just got, the annoying feature of this is that actually it's not the dialogue can't stay on the screen. So it really would be nice if it was a sort of one of those dialogues that you can just sort of enter values and then leave it on the screen. Unfortunately, for some weird reason, it's one of those ones that you can't. Nice. But, and you can actually see, you can actually just change that just behind. I'm just making it see, set a value. So I'm just going just gonna to do another one. So layer, layer style. Pattern overlay, maybe shrink it down so it's click OK. And maybe layer style, pattern overlay, increase. Now you can also, of course, use other ones as well. So at this point, I can turn around and say, oh, I'll go for a, a color. So I'll just go color overlay, click OK, and difference for that. So you can just Great, more interesting color effects underneath. So I've right, done that. Now come up to the top layer, key thing top layer, and I'm going to do the same. So I'm just going to quickly go along the timeline, just going to add some keyframes. So layer, layer style, pattern overlay, increase that one slightly, and layer, layer style. I'm going to go for pattern. Now, one thing that would be nice in Photoshop would be a rotate feature in here. Never understood why rotate. Many applications have got patterns, and virtually all of them seem to have a rotate feature. Photoshop has just got scale. Would be nice to actually. So you can change that as well. So I'm just going to. And again, I could, of course, add satin or any of these other ones as well. I'm going to click OK. Go for the long and layer, layer style, pattern overlay. 
increase the size, maybe increase the opacity again, click OK. And there you go. Basically, you've got combinations of things. But of course, I could also use the opacity here, position, etc. So now I've done that, I can actually just run through the pattern, which We'll just do that and click and you can actually see it run through the pattern and of course you could use any pattern you can use any combination of these patterns and now it's obviously processing this and of course you could also render this to a video or you could also save the file to an animated gif so uh, great interesting pattern designs in numerous ways just by using this feature it's nearly finished the actual processing it's going to quickly go rapidly through it now. Okay, hope you found this of interest. Thank you.